That hurt. But it worked. No pain, no gain, my boy. I ain't your boy, Stark. All right, that should do it. Won't be any Latvarian air support bothering us on our way to Castle Doom now. We'll take it on foot and bring in Bravo Team once we hit checkpoint three. On foot? You're kidding, right? Do you have any idea how little arch support I get in this outfit? What a sock in it, Webhead. Ow, oh, socks make it worse, actually. All right, ladies, let's move, now! Bravo team, come in. Come in. Bravo, do you copy? Huh. Nothing new to me so far. But Black Ops aren't really SOP for you boys, are they? How'd Fury get you? Same way he got you two, I expect. Everyone owes that old warhorse favors. And he always calls them in sooner or later. Could be much worse than come this. In. Yeah, but don't you guys wonder, uh, I mean, invading a foreign country? Like we're soldiers of fortune or something? I've known Nick Fury a very long time, Spider-Man. We wouldn't be doing this without a good reason. Oh, wringing your little hands over the poor Latvarians, huh? You think they'd do the same for you? Colonel Fury, what do you have for us? Mr. President, one of our ongoing investigations into supervillains recently had a major break. We've always been aware that many of these criminals who run around in high-tech armor were getting their materials from an underground figure, Phineas Mason, a.k.a. the Tinkerer. But what we didn't realize until recently is that the Tinkerer himself is being supported by someone outside the country, specifically Lucia von Bardas, the elected Prime Minister of Latveria. As you know, the link to a foreign power makes this, by definition, international terrorism. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Trust me, they've earned what's coming to them. Lucia, we're home. Great. Here we go again. Hey, Fury, where's that Bravo team you've been trying to reach? Ah, communication still jammed. Someone's gonna have to go round them up. And you just volunteered. What? And leave all the fun to you girls? Bite me, Fury. No time to argue, Shorty. Take webs with you. Locate Bravo Team and find another way into that castle. <sighs> you heard the man, Webhead. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. No respect. <laughs> Stuck out here, Bravo. Take down those shield projectors so we can get in. I ain't here to fight you, Von Bars. I'm here to make an example of you. This place is going down, along with your little operation. Should help deter anyone thinking along the same lines. 
so much for your president's friendly words to me. Or does he even know you're here? You got a simple choice, toots. Either come with us quietly, or die when we turn this place into a big pile of Latvarian bricks. You'll pay for this, Nicholas Fury. I promise you that. Take them! How much more of this you think you can take, hero? Now don't keep telling me you came in here alone. Where are the others, huh? Right behind you. Come on. You really think... I will hold them off, madam. That won't be necessary, my dear. Take your post. If our friends here wish to join us on our little cruise, so much the better. If only Nick Fury were with you to witness this firsthand. But he will see it soon enough. The whole world will. Your home, the same way you destroyed mine. Aim for Grand Central Station, Copper. Sure, boss. Manhattan continues to reel after tonight's devastating terror attack. Inside sources are indicating that the terrorists may have been from Latveria. Furthermore, they claim last night's attack was in direct retaliation for a secret, unsanctioned shield assault on Castle Doom exactly one year ago. Shield director Nicholas Fury, now wanted for questioning in connection with these claims, has disappeared. In his absence, Commander Maria Hill has been named acting director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Superheroes potentially linked to the Latvarian mission have refused to comment, leaving the rest of us to wonder why this horrible tragedy had to happen. You hear what they're saying about that mission in Latveria? Color me shocked, Steve. I have suspected we weren't sanctioned. You have suspected? Nice of you to say so at the time. Given a choice between Fury and the government, who are you gonna trust? Hmm. Tough call. That's why I didn't even ask you to make it. So, thanks to you, all this is on our hands. No, not on yours. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Colonel Fury, since Dr. Doom's death, Lucia von Bardas has bent over backwards to mend the ties between America and Latveria. We got her elected. This year alone, we lent her country $72 million in aid. Yes, sir. And it hurts to imagine what she's done with that money, knowing what we now know. Thank you, Colonel. I have a recommended response scenario for the city. That won't be necessary. Sir, if I may, this situation is sure to escalate. I can... We have a pleasant relationship with Lucia. We'll handle things. Diplomatically. I kept you in the dark so that if something like this ever happened, your consciences would be clear. It's on me, and I'm taking the fall for this one. You got that right. Damn it, Stark. You think these things grow on trees? I'm sure you've got plenty of backups, old man. You always do. Enjoy your exile, Fury. Wherever you are. We'll just stay here and keep picking up the pieces.
worst fears seem to be coming to pass. Congress is debating a new bill, the Superhuman Registration Act. It would require all heroes to register with the government, whether they want to or not. Which would mean the politicians get to tell us who the bad guys are. We need to make sure this thing doesn't happen. To that end, we're heading down to Washington. I've been offered a chance to testify before a congressional subcommittee. And I'm going to rally the people down there. We need to get a grassroots resistance movement going before the SRA can gain any momentum. We want you to come along in case there's any trouble. We've got a Quinjet waiting to fly us down there. Let's go. We're coming up on DC, team. But the situation has radically changed during our flight, and not for the better. The city just came under attack by an unknown terrorist force. We're going to coordinate defense efforts with S.H.I.E.L.D. Buckle up, and be ready for anything. This is S.H.I.E.L.D. Lieutenant Farrell. We've got some of the Senators prep for evac, but the zone's too hot to lift off. Eliminate the enemy forces in the area, and we can get those people out. You like American? Yeah, I'll stop you them. stupid, vaguely foreign freaks! You ruined my vacation! And you, dumb as nail shield clones! I saw what you did to those cherry blossoms back there! You think those things grow on trees? And you! You think it makes me less of a man if I came here for the Cherry Blossom Festival, huh? You're laughing with your eyes! I can see it! Fine! Time for a little boss battle, suckers! All clear, Commander. Senator Lieber from New York State, good to meet you. You've done us a great service. You heroes are okay in my book. Maybe we should put this registration business on hold. I hope so, Mr. Senator. When you think of the things the Fantastic Four has done over the years for New York... Oh, I know. So many of us have benefited from your success. And believe me, we're grateful. Well, best of luck trying to catch that maniac. Like our state motto says, Excelsior. Don't I know you from somewhere? You don't look like the voting type. Yeah, whatever. Hey, guys, I'll take these pencil pushers back to the Capitol. Give me a call if you want to hang out again. Americans, your deaths await you. Here, you are once again. A nation divided. Only this time, you will fall! You... you think you've won, but you haven't. You'll soon see. You have already lost everything. And so, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Hey, Mr. Stark! Mr. Stark! Was that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need the practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This registration act would tear down everything we've done, destroy a century-old tradition of... I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, 
And we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. They could just turn us all into criminals, hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tony. Not in my country. Now return to our special live episode of The New Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut, where the Warriors have just been spotted by their supervillain quarry. Looks like it's on. I've got Coldheart, you guys. Hey, somebody snag Nitro. He's rabbiting. Don't worry, Speedball. I'm on it. On your feet, Nitro. And don't bother trying any of your stupid exploding tricks. Oh, baby, don't you even know? <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. Reports now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut, indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. Just over 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought to the Following table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act, with the president expected to sign it. This is just completely insane, Hill. I won't do it. I'm sorry. Was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Drink darts. Now! Uh, take him down! Take him down! Uh. Son, if you want to stay conscious. You idiot. We were trying to save lives. Of all the people to go underground, Captain America. Now every superhero who disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until... That won't be necessary, Mr. President. Registration can go forward as planned. We'll take care of Captain America. of the Superhuman Registration Act earlier this week, superheroes around the country are being forced to choose a side. Do they register with the government to uphold the law or become part of an underground resistance movement? So far... You believe this is really going down? The act kicks in at midnight, but word is S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gonna be here sooner than that, taking signatures or prisoners. I want to talk to Cage about it, but he's too busy arguing with Mr. Fantastic over there. Maybe you can break into their little powwow and get some sense out of them. Understand your skepticism, Luke, but you have to believe me. I've crunched the numbers, and we absolutely can't rebel against the government on this. If we do, the consequences... It can't be any worse than burning the Constitution. You're exaggerating. This is a temporary measure. Once things settle down... I ain't buying it, Reed. And I can't believe somebody as brainy as you would. Oh, hello. Good timing. Perhaps you can talk some sense into Mr. Cage here. He and Iron Fist seem determined to get arrested. He's the one who needs a reality check. But good luck getting anywhere with that. And so, in a worst-case scenario, we'd find ourselves in the equivalent of a super-powered civil war. Heroes so busy fighting each other, the criminals get a free pass. Exactly. That's where you and the Thunderbolts would come in, Melissa. We need you to help S.H.I.E.L.D. keep crime under control while we focus on... Oh, hello again. I'm glad to see you're not going off half-cocked like Luke, Danny, and Eli over there seem to be. We need cooler heads. Jeez, Mr. Cage! Don't worry, kid. He'll bounce back from this. Songbird will be fine, too. You made the right choice. I knew you would. Now let's get the hell out of here before we got more of these lackeys to deal with. Welcome to the Resistance. It's good to see there's still heroes like us willing to stand up for what's right. 
It's also encouraging to see a significant number of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents defecting to our side. They call themselves the White Star, apparently in my honor. I can't tell you we're in for an easy time, though. Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. have advanced technology and almost unlimited resources at their disposal. Yeah, but none of that matters. What we got is more important. Yes. We have the moral high ground. We know we're in the right. Our path to victory? Convince the public to repeal that law by remaining steadfast. And by showing everyone what it really means to be a hero. We got a lot of operations in the works, so you can count on being asked to help out real soon. Meantime, feel free to explore our command bunker. This abandoned Hydra storage facility is no Stark Tower, I know, but it'll hold up if S.H.I.E.L.D. comes knocking. Bad news. Our base in Jersey City has been discovered by S.H.I.E.L.D. Our people are under attack and need immediate support. Cable was in charge of setting up this operation, but we've lost contact with him. We need to recover weapons crucial to our movement and, more importantly, protect the data Cable had compiled regarding our allies and other prospective base locations. From what we can tell, the base defenses are already compromised. Get there ASAP, and hit those invading shield forces from behind. Then get our people and our intel out of there. Team, this is Cable. Shield is planting explosives to destroy our combat drones. Take out their agents and disable the bombs. I'm dispatching Spider-Woman to support you. They're pre Did you honestly think we'd be unable to call in reinforcements, Natasha? Your biggest weakness is your overconfidence. I could easily say the same thing to you, Jessica. You can't win this war. Time will tell. I've disabled Black Widow's security override. Get inside, now! I'd ask if you're gonna come quietly, but you've already answered that one a few times. enjoyed some victories in this conflict, but we knew we were going to be in for a tough fight. And it looks like Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. are working overtime. They've been rounding up unregistered heroes and criminals like there ain't no tomorrow. In fact, we hit her running out of room to hold them all. Intelligence obtained by Cable now indicates that the Pro-Reg forces have almost completed construction of a massive new detention facility in the Negative Zone. It appears that the only way to access this new prison is via a network of tightly guarded portals. Obviously, it sounds like a very secure facility. Don't let that rattle you, though. More folks are joining our side every day, and there's no question we can win this thing. Agreed. However, keeping our people out of that prison will be one of our top priorities going forward. Good to have you here, team. Head to the briefing station when you're ready for your next assignment. We just got word that a number of our captured friends are about to be transferred to the negative zone. They'll be sent there using a trans-dimensional portal, which we've discovered is located deep in the Rikers Island Penitentiary but they must be transferred to Rikers first via convoy. Our best bet to keep our friends out of that prison is to never let them get there in the first place. So, we'll be hitting that convoy hard as it passes through Hell's Kitchen. Unfortunately, there's a complication. We have it on good authority that Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. are bolstering their ranks with super-powered criminals. They're using some kind of nanite technology to control the behavior of these sociopaths. Don't those reckless fools have any regard for the risks they're taking? The point is, we might run into these attack dogs during our rescue op. 
So watch your backs. The convoy route is heavily defended. You'll need to clear out the anti-air emplacements, so our chopper can get a clear shot at the trucks. Then you can bust out our friends and get them to safety. Liberty Squad, convoy is now approximately four clicks from your position. Looks like shields doubled their guard on the anti-aircraft guns. We can't strike the convoy by air until you clear out those gun emplacements. Hit them fast, hit them hard. We're clear, and just in time. Disable that convoy. Stay down, ugly! Get a manicure while you're at it. Jeez. Sheesh, here we go again. Now don't play too rough with your new toys, Hank. Aw, oh, you never let me have any fun. See if we can't heat things up a bit for our big and tall friend. Fantastic work. Not only did you take down their biggest gun, but you bought time for our people to escape. Now it's your turn. Get out of there while you can. I just wish I could see Maria Hill's face right now. The increasingly desperate actions of the pro-reg leadership make it clear our resistance movement is working. It's just a matter of time before public opinion turns firmly in our favor and the Registration Act becomes history. However, it's not over yet. Stark and S.H.I.E.L.D. have already proven they'll stop at nothing to try to break us. We must remain ready to face them at any moment, while also doing whatever we can to protect the public during this chaotic time. We just received word of a major disaster at a chemical plant in New Jersey. Details are sketchy, but hundreds of workers may be trapped. We've got to get those innocents out of danger. Of course. But we're well aware this could be a trap set by our friends. That's why we'll be using Cloak to teleport us in. He can get us right back out if there's any trouble. Okay. Let's rescue those workers. Besides being the right thing to do, it might make it even more obvious why being a hero shouldn't be against the law. How many trapped workers did the radio say? Over 300. But something's weird. I'm not getting anything over my info net. No panic signals, nothing. What's wrong, Cable? Cloak, get us out of here! It's a trap! Of course it's a trap. How else were we gonna get you all in one place? Skybird 1, is the area fully cordoned? Roger, perimeter sealed. No one's leaving the zone without our say-so. Copy that. Stand by. Stand by? <laughs> you and S.H.I.E.L.D. going soft, Tony? We didn't come here to arrest you, Cap. I talked S.H.I.E.L.D. into offering all of you a chance at amnesty. You mean surrender? Thanks, but, uh, I think I'd rather take my chances. Cap, please. You know how hard I tried to fight this. But that was before Stamford. The public doesn't want secret identities anymore. Registration is the only way to make them feel safe when we're around. Just give me a chance to tell you our plans for my 21st century overhaul. You've got five minutes. That's all I'll need. What the hell? But they've been caught. 
cornered. Go. I can handle Stark. Last warning shot, Dagger. Step away from Cloak. Molten Man's next volley will put you in the burn unit. You people are out of your minds. I'm not leaving. You are. Good job, team. Let's give Dagger a chance to revive Cloak. Colossus, you stay with her to help stand guard. The rest of you, get to that elevator. Cap could use some backup and fast. You okay, boss? I uh, will be. Just keep those others away. This is between me and Rogers. No problem. I got your back. Tony might have held back. Ah! won't have such an easy time with me. Need to give repair systems. Some time. Not gonna happen, Tony! I think your interference has gone on long enough. Just once, it would be nice if things went according to plan. Once, it would be nice if things went according to plan. Amnesty, huh, Tony? Like you'd offer a common criminal? Who needs amnesty now? You still don't get it. Still won't accept where you're pushing things. Don't start with that again. Reed can crunch his numbers till the cows come home. It won't change right from wrong. Sometimes you have to do the wrong thing at the right time to save everything that matters. Nothing can justify what you're doing. Nothing on... What's that sound, Stark? Don't move a muscle or... Don't worry. Not gonna move. Cable, we had Stark cornered, but he got away. Any read on his position? Negative, but we think Cloak might be recovered enough to... Fine. Get anyone who's seriously wounded to his location for evac. Everyone else stays. We're finishing this. I'll meet up with you in a bit. I'm not done with Stark yet. Cap, we can't risk you getting captured. Not discussing it, Cable. You've got your orders. What are you waiting for? Get to Cloak and make sure the wounded get out safely.
I'll stabilize the bombs and toss them to you. Then you dispose of them. Oh, and uh, keep those two busy, would you? <sighs> Look who's back in the land of the living. Where am I? W what happened? You're in a secret shield base that only I know about. Hmm, <laughs> well, I guess now you know about it, too. You guys did a good job of buying me time to defuse those bombs. I got most of them. But not all. A good number of those heroes got pretty badly hurt in the explosions. Including yourselves. No one saw what those mind-controlled freaks were trying to do, or that we tried to stop them. So it was up to me to save you. you healed up, I tried to warn Stark about what really happened. Oh, come on, Tony! I'm telling you, those mind-controlled criminals of yours were completely out of control. They're the ones who rigged the explosions. I tried to... And I'm telling you, it's impossible. Our records show the villains were accounted for the entire time. Someone hijacked them. I saw it myself. I don't know what your angle is this time, old man. And frankly, I don't care. I've got a war to win. Either help me do that, or get out of the way. Well, things didn't go much better with old wingtips, either. Sorry, Fury. You've got no evidence. And I need more than your word these days. Besides, if Stark's attack dogs really are turning on him and S.H.I.E.L.D., so much the better. Serve them right. They can deny it all they want, but something big is going down. Maybe even bigger than this civil war you're all having so much fun with. Someone out there's trying to take advantage of the situation. Maybe by now I could have figured out who if I hadn't been too busy playing nursemaid to you grunts. You owe me. And since you're all presumed dead by both sides, you're the perfect little group to check out of this war, at least for a bit, to help me figure this thing out. You with me? We, oui, Fury. We're with you. Remember, we're the only ones ready to figure out who's behind this. Meet me at the briefing station when you're ready for action. All right, listen up. Tinkerer here has been trying to figure out who might be pulling the strings of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s nanite criminals when no one's looking. Since I had some involvement in the original nanotechnology S.H.I.E.L.D. has converted for their use, I was optimistic that I could puzzle out the situation with the data already available. However, that has not proven to be the case. I have nothing more than conjecture at this point. In order to determine what's really happening, I will need to view the networking logs for S.H.I.E.L.D.'s nanite control grid. Unfortunately, their signal is highly encrypted. It could take years to break their code and directly access their servers. But we don't have time for that, obviously. The shorter and quicker routes to physically transmit that data directly from their servers, which we've discovered are located in Rikers Island Penitentiary. So that's where you're headed. Now, don't worry. I know trying to bust into that place on your own would be near impossible, since it also contains the portal to Stark's negative zone prison. But we got information that Captain America and his forces are about to stage a prison break to release their buddies from the negative zone. They'll have to smash through Rikers to get there. We'll take advantage by having you piggyback on their incursion. While they're driving toward the portal, you follow in their wake and get that data sent to us. Then we can figure out who the hell's grabbing control of these psychos and why. Not so fast. I've got my orders. <laughs> You won't 
get past me. You won't! Oh man, they're all loose! Transmission and Tinker has done a quick analysis on the data. It doesn't look good. We were concerned that an unknown megalomaniac might be overriding Shield's nanite control signals with intentions unknown. However, the truth is much stranger and potentially much more troubling. There is no secret mastermind pulling the strings of these criminals. The network that links their minds has become large and complex enough to emerge as its own intelligence. A neural net whose intellect grows each time they inject another host with the nanites. The only reason this thing hasn't already spread like wildfire is because S.H.I.E.L.D. lets just a few of them out at a time. Correct. If the entire group were released from lockdown, they could escape Prison 42 and quickly spread across the Earth like a techno-plague. Everyone would eventually become part of its collective consciousness. We already saw they could override shield control. Wouldn't there be any way to stop them? To determine that, I would need a pure, untainted sample of the nanite material. One that hasn't yet been injected into a host. Okay, they must have some of that in their negative zone jailhouse. And we won't get a better chance to head in there and grab some of that stuff than right now, while the heroes are still beating the crap out of each other. I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Sit tight till I arrive to help you out. Cells at this rate. Are those the conduits we saw in the schematics? Yeah, the only exposed power cables for both the main systems and the backups. Those get cut, and all the cells open up, including Shield's remote control super criminals? You got it. But the release prisoners might give Shield more than they can handle, at least for a few minutes. Could help cover our escape. your nanite injected slaves we had it under control until you busted in here and released them all gentlemen i suggest we focus on getting our people out of here alive
reviving each other somehow. Not good. Fury behind you. Hmm. Closed off from the other side. What do you think it means? Did Fury detonate? Step to one side, Captain. You and your friends here are under arrest. For Pete's sake, Hill, these people need medical attention. He's right. Lower your weapons and call in the medics. No, Stark. I'm under direct orders from the President. The SRA dictates that these unregistered... We're giving everyone temporary amnesty on my authority. At least until we figure out what just happened. If you have a problem with that, Commander Hill, you're going to have to take it up with all of us. Get the medics down here. So many lives apparently lost. And yet lost so that many more lives might be saved. We may not know the true fate of Nicholas Fury, but we do know he showed his willingness to sacrifice himself on behalf of us all. For him, and for the rest of the missing and presumed deceased, we ask Almighty God to watch over their souls. Amen. I've got to hand it to Fury. I'm not sure we ever would have found this place if you hadn't led us here. The Colonel entrusted us with its location, because he knew the fate of Midgard was imperiled. Tis shameful he had to lay down his life ere you took his dire warnings to heart. You're right, but I'm not ready to buy that Fury and the others are dead. Not yet. We found no bodies, detected no explosion, how can we be sure what really happened? Tony and I have already been over this a dozen times. We can't be sure. Not without a working portal to the negative zone. And that will take us weeks to bring online. Great. So in the meantime, it just goes down as a mystery? Yes. But we do have some evidence of Fury's success. I've been monitoring, and there's still no sign of the Nanite Collective signals here on Earth. It's a shame the Tinkerer seems to have escaped. I was hoping his research would corroborate my own. Still, I believe I can use this scanner to confirm that the Nanites haven't... Oh no. What is it? Nanite control signals. Hundreds. Maybe thousands of them. Fury failed? We all failed. We lost our way. And now the world pays the price. In the span of just a few hours, the world has gone insane. The Nanite Collective's agents are swarming all over the globe, infecting key victims in an apparent bid to eliminate all serious resistance to their expansion. Their movements seem methodical and well-coordinated. They must have used Prison 42's portal system to move this fast. Worse, time is on their side. If we can't stamp this out quickly, it will grow to encompass all of humanity. In the face of this new threat, the Registration Act has been temporarily suspended to allow us to work together. We're deploying teams around the world, but the most explosive situation right now is in the African nation of Wakanda, which has reported a massive incursion into their capital city. Ruled by our friend T'Challa, also known as the Black Panther, Wakanda is a highly advanced country blessed with the world's only deposits of vibranium. Your knowledge of the Nanite Collective makes you the best team to send into this combat zone. Do whatever it takes to help Black Panther defeat these invaders and regain control of his country. Thank goodness you're here, my friends. No time for pleasantries, though. The enemy have our city surrounded and are firing on us with siege cannons.
Analysis of full technology retrieved after the liberation of Wakanda has revealed details about the collective and how it's spreading. We are now aware of massive repeater towers being erected at secret locations around the globe at an astonishing rate. These heavily defended towers are clearly being built to extend the reach of their network. Like the internet, their grid is adaptive and seems highly resistant to being completely shut down. So trying to destroy the towers would be an inefficient use of our time and resources. However, we might still have an ace in the hole. Our nanite stasis signal should still function, if we could only broadcast it on their network. Their encryption makes that impossible to do from the outside. But if we were able to take control of one of their repeater towers and send the signal from there, it just might work. We've identified only one tower that is central enough to reach the entire fold before they could react. If we were able to infiltrate this enemy base and send the shutdown signal, all members of the fold would be paralyzed, allowing us to round them up and cure them of the nanite infection. It sounds simple, but won't be easy. Iceland was one of the first countries to be completely overtaken by the Collective. However, this may be our only shot at defeating the fold. If we fail here, We'll have revealed our only trump card, and they won't give us another chance once they figure out what we're up to. We'll get as close to the tower as we can without attracting their attention. From there, we'll have to fight through their defenses, make our way into the base, and send out that signal. Hurry! Get him out of here! You were torn from us, Venom, but you can still willingly come back into the fold. The only thing getting torn around here is you, old man. I'll let you guess where. We know what you're plotting. It won't work. Very well. You could have selected the painless option. Instead, you chose this. It's over, Fury! You're alone! There's no way! Oh, I'm not alone. You may have frozen the fold, but you haven't eliminated it. And with these new nanites, I can draw on the entire Collective's power. I won't need more than a fraction of it to kill you. Then I'll shut down that annoying signal of yours for good. Could be a lot worse, all things considered. 
Everyone else who was infected is pretty much recovered, but the stuff the Tinkerer put in you was ten times. Yeah, I know. <sighs> but believe me, I know. Listen, guys, um, <clears throat> about all this, I, uh, well, I, I, ju I just want him to, uh... You can stop there, Nick. There's plenty of blame to go around, on all sides, and plenty of cleaning up yet to do. Yeah, there is that. I know you'll put it right. Get things back to where they used to be. I'm not sure things will ever be quite the same as they used to be. No. But that doesn't mean they can't be good again. And so with the global battle against the Fold now won, thanks in large part to the combined efforts of the world's superheroes, Congress this week voted to overturn the Superhuman Registration Act. Additionally, all members of the anti-registration movement have been granted full amnesty by the president. Does this mean the country's superheroes can get back to doing what they do best? Former anti-reg movement leader Captain America, speaking earlier today at a Lincoln Memorial rally, said he hoped so. During this conflict, nearly all of us got distracted from a hero's main responsibility, to help those who need it most. Now, thanks to the actions of a small but steadfast team, we've been given another chance. We must not squander it, and we won't. We saw what could happen if all individuality were lost. But we were also reminded that there are some things we can only accomplish when we're united. Now, our alliance stands reforged, ready to meet whatever challenge might be next, together. What the? How did you get in here? Dude, it's what I do. Okay, well, what do you want, Mr. Deadpool? We're kind of busy trying to wrap up production Yeah, on... yeah, geek boy, I've heard of crunch time. You think I don't play these games? Fine. What can we do for you? First off, I'm not here because I'm happy. I was told the game was going to be called Deadpool and His Inferior Friends. What? Who told you that? Someone from marketing. That's crazy. Even they wouldn't... Yeah, she did. Might have had something to do with the katana I was sticking up her nose at the time. Great. Well, I guess you can take it up with them? I'm not done. Of course not. Okay, let me just finish typing this and... There we are. So, you wanted to say? Okay, here's the thing. In this game, I'm hardly any more powerful than any of these other idiots. You mean the other playable superheroes? Right. Them. We try to balance all the characters so that none of them are too powerful. That's what I'm talking about! That ain't realistic! I can take down any of them goody-two-shoes wimps! The Hulk? Okay, maybe not him, but... The Thing? Sure, if he had a cold. Thor? Look, Poindexter, I'll show you just what I can do! Hey, where are my swords? Yeah, I just turned them off. The hell does that mean? I didn't know you could turn them on! You think this fourth wall stuff of yours only works in one direction? All I had to do is change one line of code, and now none of your powers or attacks will work. What the? You pimply-faced paper and dice playing prom-skipping nerd hole! Give me back my powers! Keep it up, and we'll pull you out of the game entirely. Maybe stick you into downloadable content later. Maybe not even that.
Jeez. All right, all right, I'm going. But when no one buys this game, don't come crying to me. Try to help these jerks, and what do you get? Attitude. Soon as I get my powers back, I'll come back and show Pizza Boy there how many hit points he's got. Not a lot, I'll bet. Thank you.